a little walk in Fakenham and uh, found a nice little river by the bridge that we filmed yesterday and there's some moving water this is always quite nice take a look Well, as you can probably hear, the weather has taken a bit of a turn for the worse, so we've uh, decided to come back to the motorhome. And uh, on the way back, I tried to film some of the crows, and uh, this is what happened. And by the way, Sue said to keep this bit of footage in. Oh yeah, there's one. There's an old crow. <laughs> well, as you can probably see, we're back home again. We've just arrived home. The weather took a change uh, for the worse. The wind got up and it started raining. As a bit of a storm came through, so we um, didn't get much more filming done. But uh, I was sitting in the motor home. Someone stole my camera, and um, this is what happened. Right, it's my turn. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ah, oh my god. On the other side of the camera this time. Oh. No, this is Trev. I'm busy. He's very busy. As you can see, this is the inside of the motorhome. Dressed. He's got to put his hat on. Um, he's worn out Oscar, who's having a nap. And then hand round, here is Sophie who's having a nap. Man bag. There's Trev's man bag that he puts his camera in. He's got to hide the evidence. Oh, so you can see the front of the cab with the blinds down. That, that gives you quite a lot of privacy at night and that keeps it a bit warmer. Um, and we can swing the seats round which makes this area into a nice like a dinette come lounge area. And then you've got the, the seats two seats there where Sophie is. The table we've got here, we have got a slot in bit so you can extend the table where Oscar is so you can easily fit six around here. These two seats here, notice the badger cushion that our friend Peggy kindly made for Trev with the badges on. And this is a two seat and behind the throw there's two seat belts so when our granddaughters get older or if we need to take passengers we can and then i've got some little things vacuum cleaner we've got a tray that we've put behind here we use that for draining things so it's got multi-use so we don't have to keep getting the drainer out every time um, we've got a little mat here that's absorbent mat very cheap and cheerful but ideal for catching any, any splashes and then we've got another little thing in the bedroom it looks a bit of a mess but it's hidden behind here it's ideal for putting all your bits and pieces in so we don't lose any bits and pieces so that's another little thing and there's something else in the bathroom I'd like to show it's only a little cheapy um, hanger it only costs us about 99p and the other little thing I'm really pleased with myself 
I put these stickers on the bottom of the mirror because I got fed up of it getting splashed all the time because as you can see there's no splashbacks so it was only um, $2.99 in a kit um, you put all the little bubbles on so I'm, I'm really pleased with that so. come back so you can see our our motorhome is we live in it obviously things look a little bit scruffy but we're going back to see what Trev's doing. Call me Scrubby. He's busy looking at stuff. <laughs> guess. YouTube. Guess what he's watching? YouTube. Yes. Oh, and the hat. You haven't got your hat on. No. I'm warm. <laughs> and outside, we've got this lovely panoramic. We love this panoramic. Um, skylight you can open it up in the summer as well which is really great look at all those crows they're quite noisy but I've never seen so many crows <coughs> there's some other birds I don't know if I can zoom in on it at all in the trees well we're back from Fagenham and we've just had a lovely cup of tea and Sue and I thought we'd sit down and give you a quick update as to what we're planning for the summer. Whilst we were at Fakenham, Sheila and Joe prepared a lovely chilli supper and we spent an evening with them in their motor home talking about plans for the summer of 2019. They had lots of ideas and we did too and we came together uh, with an outline plan of what we might do in the summer. To begin with we've got um, a pub stopover with a visit to an air museum which will be coming up fairly shortly We've also got the uh, annual service of our motorhome, which I'll be filming and bringing to you uh, with details about what's happened and what things cost and what they look for. Um, we've also got three quite long breaks. Uh, the first one in May will be to South Wales and we're going to cover the Gower coast and also the Brecon Beacons on that trip. Uh, we're quite looking forward to that one. And, uh, then in July we've got another eight night trip which we're going to start off in Chester at Chester Fair Oaks and then move on to uh, Southport and then end up at Burr's Country Park which was one of our favourites and unfortunately Joe uh, and Sheila missed out on last autumn when we were there because Joe was taken poorly. So we're going to go back there and make sure that we uh, show them around that area too. Um, beyond that that's the one that Sue's most looking forward to, I think, which is a long-awaited Scottish trip of the North Coast 500. Everybody knows it as the NC 500. Um, bear in mind that we have a 400-mile trip from Ipswich to Glasgow and then back again. So we have to build that bit in. Uh, it still leaves us a good 12 or 13 nights camping up in Scotland. So um, we'll be bringing that to you at uh, the beginning of September. And instead of doing wild camping, because there's going to be two of us, we're booking sites. Some of them are going to be caravan and uh, motorhome club sites. Some of them are CLs, aren't they, Trev? Yep. Um, but they are all going to be booked sites, so we're going to book those ahead this time, which is different to what we did before. Yeah, um, we think with, um, with two motorhomes travelling, uh, together it makes uh, things a little easier and a little more comfortable to have um, destinations to arrive at so that if we do get separated along the way at least we can we can meet up again later in the day. September is quite a busy time for the North Coast 500 route so uh, there is a chance that we may not be able to find wild camping uh, in the same spots you know and uh, it just it just makes things a little easier. And we didn't want to do the same as we did the last couple of times. We wanted to vary the route, didn't we? We've never yeah. done that actually before, have we? Where we're going? That's right. We're, uh, and we're, we're gonna... not going to get snow. That's another thing we've been a little bit wary of. The last couple of times have been the first time we actually got snowed in. Yeah, we can we? never really predict the weather, mm. but we hope that in September we'll be able to pick up uh, the last of the summer sunshine. So um, that being the, the major holiday of the season, there will be lots of other things going on. Uh, we've got one or two surprises up our sleeves and I'll uh, tell you a little bit more about that later on. So we're back out on the road again with our motor home in just a few days time. And until then, we'll say goodbye. Bye. Right. Uh,
and then it'll come up mm. record. Okay. Right. right, it's my turn. Yeah. Mm. Let's switch it off. How do you switch it off, Trey? Press the red button. Looks right Shall we come me. a little bit closer? That's better, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit better. Well, we're back from Framley. Uh, well, not Framley, was it? <laughs> Another outtake. Fakenham. Fakenham. Well, we're back from Fakenham and, and we spent uh, an evening with them in their caravan. No, we didn't. Motorhome. And we spent an evening with them in their motorhome at the beginning of September. Anything you wanted to add? No. Not really. Yeah. Just yeah, do you want to tell them that? Um, well, let's make it up. <laughs> and, and also... No um, midges. Um, hopefully there'll be no midges. But Next week. Um, we're um, going to we'll say goodbye for now. Are you going to tell them about the tow car? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was that a surprise? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was one Bye -bye. of the surprises. Sorry. Sorry about that. So we'll Bye. start that little bit again. <laughs> no. And until then, we'll say goodbye. Bye. That too. Okay.